Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, this is a What Sold featured Bolo Buddies member video. I've got 41 Bolos coming your way, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell high. Um, I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. Again, these are members of my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel, which means they have joined memberships for perks. Um, this perk is the $4 and 99 cents a month perk, and you get to be featured in a video. I'm going to feature their eBay stores and their YouTube channels during this video. So I'm basically advertising for the members and check with your CPA or your accountant. I'm pretty sure it's probably a tax write off for advertising. So that's another perk is you can write it off. All right, you guys links to all of the channels, the YouTube channels and the eBay stores will be linked down in the description. All of these members are resellers and they're very, very good at it. They are Bolo finders and they have great content on their channels. So please take a minute to go down below and check them out. All right. Are you guys ready for some big money Bolos? Because I will tell you every time I do this video, I learn so much. So we are going to get started with the first item here. And it comes from Horse and Hair Curiosity Shop. She does not have a YouTube channel, but I will tell you, she has one of the most amazing eBay stores I have ever seen. Um, she sources stuff. I, like, her whole store is a bolo. Like, where does she get these amazing items? I mean, she doesn't buy it unless it's unique and different and big money and totally cool. So definitely go check out her store. Um, it, it's amazing. So it's linked down below. You guys, I mean, I just want to sit and just keep going through all of the pages. It's that good. Um, she sold this Tom Rubel or Rubble. It's R-U-B-E-L. It's Silver Deer Christmas. It's a killer whale figurine. It's from 1990. She did take a best offer. She had a list of for 325. She did not tell me what she actually sold it for. So I apologize. I don't have that info. But typically, um, as resellers, we don't take a ton off of our asking price. So I'm guessing she did very well on this. And if she watches, maybe she'll put it in the comments. She got this at an estate sale for $5. So definitely be on the lookout, you guys. The next item comes from Butterfly Hustles, and she has a reseller channel. She buys a ton of stuff at Value Village. She like sources crazy good bolos out of that place. She's really close to 1K subscribers, you guys. If you could give her a sub and let's get her to 1,000, that would be amazing. I'd appreciate it so much. Um, she bought, bought these um, shears, so they're scissors, they're vintage. She picked them up at a lot in a lot of items at Value Village. And her approximate cost of goods was around 50 cents. And I do this also. I'll put a tape measure up to the item. That is like the easiest way to show measurements. Um, you can't question a tape measure, right? Uh, so she sold these for a best offer of $50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item was sold by Danielle over at Yard Sales and Dreams. Again, big money bolo finder. She's got lots of sourcing videos, but she also mixes it up on her channel. I think you guys will really like it. Definitely go and check it out. And she sold this vintage lampshade and it's from the 60s or the 70s. It's super, super cool. It's got the chain and she ended up taking a best offer of $60, but she bought this at a yard sale for $1. All right, you guys, I'm going to continue to go through the members. I'm going to show you their YouTube channel or their eBay store, depending. And at the end, we are going to have a speed round where I am just going to go bolo, 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 bolo. So definitely stay tuned for the end because I will move super fast at the end. The next item came from Mindful Recycle and she took a little, she took about a month off from doing a video. So definitely go and check out her newest What Sold. She is a major bolo finder. She sources at an estate sale, at a lot of estate sales, and she finds the most amazing stuff. She will pay up if she knows it's a bolo, but she always makes a ton of money on her items. So her What Solds always fascinate me. And this is the item she bought, and I totally would have picked this up. It's a vintage lot of uh, two houses. They are little tykes, um, doll houses with all of these accessories. And you guys, these are definitely a bolo. The thing that I have a problem with is I don't like shipping these big houses, but um, I have in the past. 
but I typically part out the furniture, but she did really, really well on this. Uh, she ended up selling it for $400. She picked it up at an estate sale for $120. Uh, she did end up shipping the big house separate from the little house, but she said she got, um, oh, a wardrobe box. I'm trying to remember where she said she got it from. Um, maybe like a moving company or something like that, but it was a wardrobe box. And these houses are super sturdy and they do ship well. So um, that's how she ended up shipping it, if anybody is wondering. But $400 on that, you guys. The next item sold um, from Toledo Antique. And the reason I have this zoomed in is because they have this video called How to Pack a China Set. And the reason I'm showing you that, you will see here in a minute. But this is their YouTube channel, Toledo Antique, and they um, do live sales on their channel. So they sell things to their viewers and um, they also have reseller content. So definitely go and check their channel out. But look at this bolo, you guys. It ended up, I think, selling for $5,200. It is a Royal Crown Derby Amari 2451 China set. And I will tell you, you probably couldn't pay me to ship this item. Look at all of these individual pieces. Oh, that just makes me um, cringe to think about. And I don't know if they ended up, I think they shipped it, you guys. But you can check out that video to see how they shipped another set. It was a smaller set, but it was still a really big set that they sold for big money. But I mean, $5,200 is a lot of money. Maybe I would figure it out. But they ended up selling this for, again, I think it was $5,200. They got it at an estate sale. Now they did pay $2,000 for it. So one thing I've learned about Toledo Antique is they know their stuff and they will pay up if they know they can sell it for a lot of money. So definitely check them out. You'll definitely learn a lot. The next is Philly Flipper and he does storage units, but he also does a lot of garage sale content where he will show you him sourcing the items and he'll pop up screen shares to help you learn. And he has amazing editing skills. But you guys, he picked this up at a, um, it was a Facebook marketplace free, like free ad, you know, where they say, come pick it up for free. Unbelievable. Now, personally, um, oh goodness, I don't know how I would have sold this. I think I would have done smaller lots but he got it free. It probably took him hours to sit this all out, you guys. Look how many free. Who gives this type of stuff away free? Oh my goodness. Anyway, he put $1,000 on it. Took a best offer of $585. It's over 600 items, you guys. That's just amazing. Amazing. Neat Finds from Naomi. She does not have a YouTube channel, but she has a fantastic eBay store. She sells clothing and hard goods. You will definitely learn a lot. Just lots of neat stuff, modern to vintage. Um, definitely a really cool store. And she sold these swans. They're a pair of MCM white, I, I call it, yeah, crane, her, heron, swan, bird, uh, ceramic beach decor. Oh, I like that beach decor. That's a good idea. That's a good keyword. Here is her um, tape measure. And she got these on high bid. So it must have been like with a bulk buy because she only had 91 cents in these and she took a best offer of $85. The next item comes from Donatella Bottolino who does live reseller auctions and selling events on her YouTube channel. I buy from her all the time. Um, most of my what solds will say, I bought it from Donatella Bottolino or I bought it from T auctions for you. And um, I source from them quite often. Um, I buy big lots of reseller lots and then I part them out on and I put them on eBay and other platforms. So Donna will list things on eBay, but it's typically just so I have something to show on my uh, featured members video because she doesn't do a whole lot on eBay anymore, but she knows that she has to have some bolos so that I can feature her in the video. So if it's something she knows she can sell quick for big money, she'll throw it up on eBay. Uh, she got this at an estate buyout. So she has um, somebody, she's an organizer in the Palm Beach area who reaches out to Donna 
when she has big bulk um, wholesale, like, I don't want to say wholesale because it's like estate sale buyouts. So the estate, this lady goes into a state sale, she organizes them, and then she calls Donna and lets her know that she has inventory for her. And she knows that Donna does YouTube auctions. So um, it's kind of a win-win for both of them. So this was an estate buyout. It's a Gucci canvas uh, shoulder purse. And Donna sold this for $400 with free shipping. The next item comes from Chosen Goods Reseller. And sorry, she recently started a new live show and it's at 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And I, I want to say it's Thursdays. She just had her first one. It's either Tuesday or Thursday. But anyway, uh, three days ago, today is what, Sunday? So I think Thursdays at 11 o'clock p.m. or a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm totally messing this up. But it's coffee and chat. I thrift that. and. Her most recent guest was Harry Tornado. And if you guys don't know about Harry Tornado, he has like 150,000 subscribers. He has a reseller channel. Definitely check him out also. But please go over to Chosen Goods Reseller and sub her up and check out that next live show. She got this bat. It's a Louisville Slugger. It's a baseball bat. She picked it up at a garage sale for $2 and she sold it in less than 24 hours for 100 bucks. And she does have a video where she sourced this. It's a, a thrift, not thrift with me. It's a garage sale with me style video. And you can check that out on her channel. The next is Be Carried Away. And she is a bolo finder. She sells vintage hard goods and clothing. Um, and she sells other stuff also. It's not all vintage, but vintage clothing. She is definitely uh, really good at keywords. I always tell you guys that because that's something I feel like I can't offer you that she can. And I definitely think you should check her channel out. Um, she sold this vintage, I think it's vintage, Christian Dior uh, nightgown. And yeah, I'm going to say that's probably vintage. And she sold this for a best offer of $100. She picked it up at a Salvation Army for $5.99. And it's new with tags, you guys. How cool is that? The next item is sold by the Rebel Reseller. Love her content. She does a lot of what solds, but she sells a lot of plush. And I really enjoy learning about plush. And she knows a lot about it. So definitely check her out over on her channel. She also sells other toys and hard goods um, also. So it's not just uh, plush. But uh, this Z Legend of Zelda Jigsaw Puzzles. And they are new and sealed. And she got these for $5 each at a yard sale. And she sold them for $158, you guys. So like I said, she is definitely a bolo finder. You will definitely learn a lot. I know that I have. The next is Vandy's Closet, and she has a YouTube channel, but she's not really doing much with it right now, so I thought I would feature her Poshmark Closet because she is definitely working it. She has 287,000 followers over there, you guys, and she does a lot of clothing and shoes, as you can see here. She's got great photos. Um, definitely check out her Poshmark Closet. She sold these Lucky Brand shoes, and she sold these for around $75. So what happened was is somebody took this item and they put them in a bundle, which is basically like on eBay adding to your cart. Um, so the breakdown was that she paid $2 for these at the Goodwill bins and she sold them for around $75. And um, she does a lot of sourcing at the bins. The bins is a Goodwill outlet and they sell things by the pound. The next item is by uh, sold from Anytime Picker. He has a reseller channel, which is growing and growing and growing. So go sub him up. And he's got uh, Bolo content, what solds, where he features two items at a time typically. And then he also has other reseller content. So definitely check him out. And this is really interesting. I'm really not sure where you put this tape. It is not a VHS, you guys. It's um, Chopping Mall. It's a beta tape. Um, B E T A. I don't know. Uh, and it's got the cardboard sleeve and it's a horror movie, but you guys, he got this at a, um, house clean out for free. <laughs> Could you imagine like getting, and he got a bunch of them. 
But uh, I again, I don't know what type of machine this goes in. I would love to know if anybody knows. Put it down in the comments. It's from 1986. It's vintage. And it sold for $169. So nothing like sourcing for free and having a big money bolo. The next item comes from Auctions For You. Again, she does. I talked about her towards the beginning of the video. She, her and Donatella Bottolino pair up um, and go on each other's channels. And they sell inventory to resellers. But they also sometimes do one-offs um, if you're just looking for personal use and stuff like that also. Definitely check them out. Uh, Auctions for You recently picked up a storage unit that was full of Playmobil and sealed toys. There were some that weren't sealed also, but a lot of sealed stuff. She's selling most of this stuff over on her YouTube channel. Again, all the channels are linked below, so check that out. Uh, she got this from a storage unit and she sold it for $99 plus shipping. It is a brand new sealed Playmobil set. The next item comes from Franklin Hill Ventures and he is um, a reseller that sells on multiple platforms and he also has booths. So he is just full of great knowledge. So definitely check him out and sub him up. He sold these on Mercari and they are... 2012 Titanic glass bookends. He sold them for $84 plus shipping and he got those at a thrift store for $10. So super cool item. And the next item comes from a little bluebird. She does not have a YouTube channel. I'm sorry, she does, but she doesn't put much content on it. She has dabbled in it, but her focus right now is selling on eBay. So I wanted to feature her store. So again, that's linked down in the description. And she sold these Rock Revival men's jeans. And she did say that she feels like the men's jeans go for more than the women's. But these ended up selling for uh, $76 and she paid 10 for them at a yard sale. So Rock Revival is the brand. And I'm kind of getting out of clothing. So um, this is definitely a good piece of information to know. The next item comes from Sisters Rescued Treasures, and they sell on eBay and Mercari. And um, here are just some of the items that they have listed in their store. And we are going to move on to the item that they sold, and it is this Glass Baby Promise Jar. And some of these Glass Baby go for big money. I'm talking over a hundred dollars, sometimes hundreds. Uh, this one, I, they sold it for 45. I know that they said that it sold really fast. Um, they got it at the Goodwill for 65 cents. So I'm guessing that maybe different colors, um, and go for more. I'm not really sure. I don't know a whole lot about it. I know that, uh, Butterfly Hustles and Mindful Recycle have both sold one for big money. So, um, Three of my featured members have sold Glassy Baby for big bucks. The next item comes from It's All Good 94. And I did not hear back from her on where she got it and what she sold it for. Um, I just, I gave, I usually send out like a week in advance, but um, for some reason she didn't get back to me. So I'm guessing maybe she hasn't checked her Instagram. So no big deal. I'm still going to show you guys the item. She has a fantastic store, so definitely check it out. It looks like she's got some great Halloween stuff. Um, matchbooks, lots of cool stuff. She sold this Department 56 Peanuts on Ice ice skating rink, and it is really, really cool. Here's the little figures. I'm guessing it's probably like magnetic when you plug it in. I don't know. Not sure how they actually move around. but. Uh, it, she had it listed for $99.99 plus shipping, and I'm not sure what it sold for or what she paid for it, but definitely a cool bolo. The next item comes from Thrifty Nurse, and she is a part-time reseller, has a full-time job as a nurse, but she is a bolo finder, and she is working her reselling business and her YouTube channel. You guys, please go and sub her up. She is really working hard over there. She got this vintage Roytex smoking jacket robe. Um, she put Hugh Hefner Playboy. Uh, in the title as keywords because it looks like maybe is that the same robe it sure looks like it I don't know how she figured out that um how she found that photo unless she did like a google lens search and maybe it pulled it up how funny is that 
I'd like to know more details on that. That is so funny. I can't tell if it's the same or not. Uh, definitely vintage. I'm trying to see if that has a pattern on it. I can't tell for sure. But it definitely looks close enough to use it in the title, right? Um, she bought this for $4 at a thrift store and took a best offer of 100 She always has fun bolos. The next item sold from Jack's Treasures. And they do a lot of storage units. And this next item, they did they sourced at a yard sale. And uh, definitely check out their channel for storage unit content. They got these. They said they went to a garage sale and everything was like overpriced except for these Pampers from 1992. They had $1 on them. She's like, I grabbed it and I took off. Um, vintage diapers, you guys, if you don't know, they are definitely a big money bolo. They sold these for $175.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold comes from Money Making Mama and she has a newer YouTube channel. She just did her first what sold and um, she does her what solds very similar to how I do it. She moves through them very quickly with screen shares. So definitely go and check out her first what sold and tell her Bolo Buddies, Bolo Buddies, I can't even say my YouTube name right tonight, sent you. Um, so she finds stuff at a place called dirt cheap. And I'm always amazed at what she finds at this place. She paid $3 each for these John Frieda Frizz Ease shampoo and conditioners, six of them here. And she sold them for $69 and 99 cents plus shipping. The next item comes from, oh, oh, we're in the speed round. I'm like, I didn't pull up their channel. All right, you guys, now we are going to do the speed round where we just boom, 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 move through the bolos, okay? I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, what they sold for, but I'm not going to pull up channels. This one is from the Rebel Reseller. It's a Twinkle Bear Pink Plush from 1995. Um, look, it lights up. That's cool. And again, I told you, she is a big money bolo finder and she sells tons of plush. Here's the tag, Twinkle Bears. So it's not even a Care Bear. I thought it was a Care Bear at first. Fantasy. Wow. So uh, this is one I didn't know about, but she got it at the Goodwill for 99 cents and sold it for $156.35. The next item comes from Be Carried Away. She got this at a Salvation Army for $10 and sold it for $229.99. She said she found a box that fit it like perfectly. It was um, a recycled box that like a car came in, you know, those uh, kids cars. So that's really cool because the first thing I was thinking is how on earth would you find a box big enough to ship that? So she got really lucky. It's a wooden motorcycle rocking horse. The next item comes from Jack's Treasures and it came from a storage unit. So they have pennies in it. It is a vintage Tiny Toons t-shirt and it is, um, uh, it's an all over print. I'm not sure if it's actually single stitch or not but it's made by Freeze Clothing for Cool People, it says on the tag. And they sold this for $100. So very, very cool there. The next item that sold is this Martha's Miniatures Vintage Dress. It is a size 6X, so it is a girl's size. That's what the tag looks like. And it looks like the tag hasn't been washed. I like how she did this picture. So you can, it's just really a beautiful, very cool dress. She got this. This is from Thrifty Nurse. Thrift store for $3. Sold it for best offer of $175. And it sold in less than 24 hours. The next item came from Anytime Picker. Again, got it free at a house clean out. Sold it for $79.99. It is a Nintendo NES game. It's called Punch Out, and it's from 1990, so never heard of that game. I will definitely be on the lookout. The next item came from Vandy's Closet, and this is a Double D Ranchwear studded jacket. Um, again, she finds really, really neat stuff. She also got this, nope, I was going to say the Benz, but she actually got this at the Goodwill, and she paid $5 for it. And it sold for a best offer of $100 on Poshmark. And it sold in 24 hours. The next item comes from Toledo Antique. This is a Royal Crown Derby, the Australian collection. Kangaroo Paperweight. Super, super cool. 
Um, again, Toledo Antique just finds really, really neat stuff. That's what it looks like on the bottom. It looks like it's from 1999, so it is vintage. This was a consignment item, so they um, split the profits with the person who consigned it. The next item comes from Mindful Recycle. It's a rare vintage Sony Walkman, and this girl finds so many Walkmans, and she always sells them for big money. She, I don't know, just finds Walkmans. I never find Walkmans. She sold um, this for $151.50, uh, 19 bids on that, and it was an auction, eBay auction, and she bought it for $2. The next item comes from um, Sisters Rescue. Oh, I'm going to mess it up. Sisters Rescued Treasures, I think. Sisters Rescued Treasures, yay! Um, I got it right. This is an art glass cat, you guys. There's no brand on it. And they do a really good job of finding unbranded items and selling them. Um, I feel like unbranded items are harder to sell, but they always do a great job. Um, so they have a good eye for unique and different items. They got this at, it says DAV. So I don't know what that stands for. I'm sure it's like an abbreviation for something. Um, but they sold it or they bought it for $4.25 and they sold it for $24.95 plus shipping. The next item is this Magic the Gathering Lion's Eye Diamond card. So it's a trading card, you guys. Philly Picker picked the jackpot on this one. We'll say, uh, let's see, what did he get? He got 2,000 cards for $30, you guys. And this is one card that sold for $400. Now, I will give him props for taking the time to look through each and every card. But in this case, it is definitely paying off because he sold one card for $400. He could have taken the lazy route and just put them in a big lot and sold them off to someone. But he's actually taking the time to look them up. So definitely paid off. This one came from a little bluebird and it is the Lord of Rings board game. It's factory sealed and she sold this for someone on consignment and it sold for $67.96 plus shipping. The next item came from Naomi's Neat Finds or Neat Finds from Naomi. Sorry, I said that wrong. It's this wood man and he's carved and really, really cool piece. Let me see if there's any it says X Hutter. I don't know, but definitely a bolo. A wood carved man. Pretty cool, right? I uh, got it at an estate sale for $1.81 and took a best offer of $75. The next item comes from It's All Goods and it is a black cat and it's a Halloween and it says Tea Light Missing Tart. So it's a tart warmer and I don't know where she got it or what she paid for it. She didn't get back with me in time before the video, so I do apologize for that, but I still wanted to show it because it's a really cool bolo. She sold it, I believe, for $49.99 plus shipping. It's not marked through, so I'm guessing she got full asking price for that. This came from Yard Sales and Dreams. It's a pair of pheasant birds. They are silver plate sculptures, mid-century modern, and pretty interesting find, if you ask me. She got them from a storage unit pick, approximately $5, and she sold it for a best offer of $100, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item was sold by Butterfly Hustles. It's a vintage rare ceramic Halloween pumpkin jack-o'-lantern creepy mad face man. And it lights up. And she sold this for a best offer of $100. And she picked it up at the Goodwill for $7.49. The next item is this cookie monster. And this was sold by Donatella Bottolino. She buys plush in bulk. Um, this girl sources like a machine. You would not believe the amount of items that she sells on a weekly basis. You guys definitely go check out her YouTube auctions. She ended up selling this for $81 and the buyer got free shipping on that. The next one is also Donatella Bottolino's. Now, I do have a story behind this. She sold one of these puppets at her auction. I don't know what she sold it for, but she auctioned it off. If you guys ever see these, they are big money. Definitely pick them up. Extel, I think is how you pronounce it. It's A-X-T-E-L-L. -L. They are ventriloquist figure puppets. Um, this one is an old man. 
And you guys, they are so detailed and amazing. Um, this one sold for $350. She is having a problem getting payment from the buyer. Excuse me. An international buyer bought it. And after they got their total invoice, she uses global shipping. So global shipping adds in the um, taxes and all of the international fees. And they were kind of complaining about how much it was going to cost with all of that, which they should have been able to see that. But I think the buyer had zero feedback. So I'm not sure if this is going to get paid for. It may be relisted in her store if you guys are interested. I know she just sold another one on eBay. So um, look for that one in next month's video. And again, a big money bolo. The next item is this uh, Franklin, uh, came from Franklin Hills Ventures. It is a pillow. It's embroidered and it's like a throw pillow. Empire State Points of Interest. So really cool little uh, pickup here from him. He got this at a thrift store for three bucks and took a best offer of 50 and he had free shipping on that. The next one comes from Chosen Goods Reseller. It's a Fitz and Floyd's Hippo Ceramic Piggy Bank. She got this at a thrift store for $3.99 and she sold it for $58.53 plus shipping. And that's what the bottom looks like right there. The next item was sold by Money Making Mama. Again, she got this at Dirt Cheap. She buys these items in bulk. At the store, she paid $1.10 each and she took a best offer of $90 for these. I'm not testers Aztec airbrush cleaning station. I don't know you guys, but $1.10 each. So they must have originally been selling them for $14.70 maybe. I don't know if that's the dirt cheap price or if um, that was the pri original price. Now this one came from Horsehair uh, Curiosity Shop. This was the very first item I showed you, the lady that has the amazing eBay store with all the weird, unique, different stuff. Here's another one. This is Bethany Lowe and it's a Halloween zebra. How cool is that? Ah, uh, just amazing. There's the tag. She sold this for $175 and the buyer paid shipping. So definitely some big money bolos in this video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, did you know about a lot of these items? Did you learn something? Let me know what your favorite item was. Um, again, these are featured members of my Bolo Buddies YouTube channels. If you would like to join, there is a join button right here. If you don't see it, sometimes it doesn't show up on your phone. I do have it linked down in the description. So basically my channel is completely free to anybody that watches, but if you would like some additional perks, um, I do have three different levels of perks available and you can check that out when you hit the join button. It'll take you to a video that kind of explains that and it kind of has um, everything written out. If you made it to the end of the video, put a hat emoji in the comments. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching.